here, back for yet another video. This time around we're going to be doing a DX Tory settings video. And this is kind of to go along with my render settings, uh, which I'll be posting soon. And yeah, people were saying I have really good quality, so I thought I'd show my settings. Uh, first off, I use DX Tory to record. Um, I'd say it's the best recording software. I've tried all of them. I've tried uh, Action, I think it's called. I've tried Fraps. I've tried, well, all the little ones too. And this is the best one in terms of quality and file size. And uh, for those of you that are saying, you know, I've tried it, it's not that good, you probably just don't have good render settings. The actual video files are fantastic. So first off, you open up DXTory. Nothing on this uh, target tab. In here, you just do what you want. Here, you set your file, your folder. So to do that, just go add folder, and, you know, it's pretty basic. Just select the folder where your recordings go. You want to make sure your hard drive is around 100 megabytes a second. Uh, you can get away with 90, but 100 plus is what you want. I think mine is around 108, uh, is what you want for 1080p. Um, so definitely for DX3, you want to make sure you have um, a decent hard drive. Mine is a Seagate Barracuda 7200 RPM, one terabyte hard drive. I've got two of them. Not in RAID or anything, I just have them separate. Next, you want to set your rec re your whoa uh, your recording uh, button. So I just use Alt F9 because sometimes F9 is like a quick load or whatever, and I don't really use any of the other ones. In here, this is probably the most uh, biggest tab. The main thing you're gonna note, want right away is Legareth lossless codec. It's totally free. Um, I'll provide a link in the description. Next, in here, you want to click this uh, little wrench or wire cutters. I'm not sure. And you want to set it to YV12, and then if you've got an uh, i7 or an i5, you want to set use multi-threading. Uh, you might as well just set that if you've got a multi-core processor, basically. Then from that, just set your frames per second. If you're doing no slow motion or anything, you're just uh, recording gameplays, you're going to want to do 30 FPS or 29.97, whatever you're fancy, it's up to you. Uh, file output AVI. Um, I'll explain raw cap. Actually, yeah, so... If you've got really a slow hard drive and you want to achieve 1080p and let's say you've got an i5-2500K which doesn't have the 8 hyper threads uh, so with just the quad core 4 threads or whatever you're not going to get really good performance at 1080p at least as far as I noticed when I was doing that so what you have to do if you want to record 1080p and you're dedicated or whatever is you want to set it to raw cap and then pretty much you record and then what you have to do is you go to this um, where is it raw cap converter and you just select the file you want to convert and it takes a really long time and it's really annoying to do but technically yeah if you're desperate um, you can do that if you want and uh, one thing to notice if you, an interesting thing about um, DXTory is the original video codec is the one with the least amount of frame loss when recording so if you really want to push out your FPS, you want to get the most out of your system. DX Story Video Codec, and then I believe for this, um, I use medium and compressed, but I personally, with my i7 and GTX 670, use the Legareth at YV12 um, and the AVI. But if you're desperate, you can use the raw cap if you want to get more FPS. But um, Another thing, if you don't want to do the raw cap, because that is kind of annoying to do, I did do it for a while, and it's, it was just annoying, is you can go to your size and you can set your resolution to 1280 by 720 I, I won't need to because I think you guys know how to type that 1280 by 720 it won't be 1080p obviously it'll be 720p but it'll look fine really and uh, you know if, even if you render that out at 1080p it'll upscale it and so it won't look that bad um, but that's entirely up to you um, but if you have the power of an i7 or even something like a, let's say an AMD FX 8350 or any of their 8 core processors you'll be able to define with this so yeah that's basically it make sure you're in this video settings thing this matches and this matches what your settings here and here are so yeah for like I've got a 1080p monitor so I just set it to 100% audio tab I just have my my headset or I actually want to have no. That's what I want. Or that's what I want selected. In my case, you just select whatever you're using for your audio. So to check that, you just go here, right-click playback devices, and see what it's playing back. So you know, I have one of, is my 
headset that's playing the in-game audio then you press this and you add another one and you add well in this case I'll add like the microphone on the headsets and bam you've got that I leave the audio settings to default um, I think it's fine then here I'm not sure what's doing this so you set this if you got you just set this to the maximum whatever it says set it to 8 I'm not sure why it was doing that but whatever so just always set it to 8 that'll get the most performance and it'll use all your threads and then other than that um, I believe that is it um, that's really it if you want slow motion set it to 60 or 120 if you can but that's really it I just think it's the best program and uh, in my opinion it is uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful to some of you guys. Thanks.